Lewis Williams of Pont de Prive comes on to see if he can, can change the course of things for Wales in the final quarter taking the place of the only one who's got points for Wales so far this evening Sam Davis his drop goal put Wales three up Shane Layden's try the only other points of the evening Crouch. Williams gets the first ball static. Oh, that's sloppy behind, that is. He is employing this tactic of uh, the six or eight passing from the base. Look at the alignment behind, though. No pace in it. Overrun. Crouch! Touch! Forced, engage. And green. Wales still within a kick. Let's go. Let's go back, back. Delayed for in. Put it in quicker. Rob Evans. Oh, oh, oh. No prisoners. He was sparked in. That's hurt. Tackle away. Oh, he is clean out. And they're quite right in getting treatment on as soon as possible. And the referee needs to stop play. And, yeah, he does. Uh, just as well, the penalties come. He's talking to him. That's a powerful shot. Gets his head in the wrong place for the tackle. Only one winner there. Talking to him though. Well, he's only been on a matter of seconds, says Jay Corley. And I think that's all his game is going to last. Just the one try so far this evening, coming in the first half, the scything break down the middle by JJ Hanran, and the choice of people outside him, picked off Shane Layden in the end, the full-back from the Buccaneers club, the local club here in Athlone, much to the delight of the home crowd, and that's the way it stands, just his try against Sam Davis's drop goal, although Wales now have a chance to edge ahead. That's a good sight. A bit shaky on the feet, but... A yeah, right, right smile on yeah. the face as well, I think. Just got his head completely in the wrong place. And no sooner is it coming on, then it's almost literally good night. Steely, back down to you. Yeah, shame we've just seen that big hit there. Uh, Wales' is physicality, uh, Wales' is physicality, what, what about it? Yeah, they're definitely up to it. You have to hand it to them now. They've stayed in the Ireland half. It looks like they're going to get a penalty here. They could sneak the game. They've definitely raised it. And what has been, uh, what they've done mainly well in the second half? Well, their discipline has been way better. And they've held on to the ball. That's been key. Far less mistakes. And as you said, the physicality. Although I can say it better than you did. Here's the big one, Gar. Lewis Williams only just come onto the field. That's what's facing him. Yeah, he likes it. And that's an excellent kick from the Pont de outside half. And after soaking up so much pressure with just a quarter of an hour to go, Wales are back ahead. Well, you don't fancy that's going to be the last score with 15 to go. But it's enough to give Wales big hope. It's a good reward for their efforts this second half. Just put the squeeze on Ireland. Want them to win this one in the final 15. They started off all right with the ball in the hands of Ian Henderson. Wales won't be happy with that restart at all. But back illegally. Oh dear. Discipline after the score. Yeah. And just after. Shane Byrne had said one of the reasons why Wales were back in this game and back ahead was that they hadn't given away penalties, they immediately give one away.
Yeah, any doubt there. Just let him have it. And Ian Henderson there, who's just getting treatment. He was the one who's on the end. Of, he's put himself about this evening as well as the Ulster second row. Well, three failures into the wind in the first half. Assisted. The result is the same, and Paddy Jackson's radar is off this evening. Yeah, nasty pull. Not the faintest of cheers from the crowd in knew as soon as he hit it. They've had their chances, Ireland. They haven't taken them. So far, Wales have very limited opportunities, but they went down, came back with three points from a drop goal, came back with three points from a penalty. Have their noses in front as the try scorer Leiden looks Go a bit too away. long. <laughs> That's one thing Ireland can afford to do now if they're in any sort of trouble, bang it downfield and yeah. let Wales come back from distance and put the pressure on. Jackson leaves it early to Farrell. Push back seven. McGrath. Feet in the way. Eventually comes out. Leiden. Oh, brilliant run by Leiden. Release Again, me. held on to it rather than look for the miracle ball. Yeah. It's because Coughlin Murray couldn't get to him. McCall, now Ireland have their tails up. The fans are really getting behind them at Dubarry Park. Jackson for the dink for the corner. Daly chasing after it. Luke Williams back there, trying to get down and up in one movement. Farrell putting pressure on him, but the Welsh left wing has done extremely well. Behind the ball, four red. Wales have a chance to clear, albeit from their own dead stop, ball line. Stop, stop. Not dead yet, though. Just a thought of a drop goal for a second from Paddy Jackson and thought better of it. And a couple of players cramping up, laden one of them. Although he's staying out in the left wing and screaming for the ball. He'll hobble to it if he has to. Gilson and McGrath. Back to Jackson. Jackson for the drop goal. Paddy Jackson off the radar with the place kicking, but not with the drop goal. And the captain puts his team back ahead. Ireland eight, Wales six. Yeah, you've got to praise his confidence there. Takes it upon himself, doesn't shirk the responsibility. And slots are very, very comfortable. Very accurate drop goal. But he'll pass some thanks over to his fullback lead, and it was his rake and run that found. The territory again, very impressive. The young Irish fullback this evening. Push. Still ten minutes to go. Still could go either way. Ellis Jenkins links up with Luke Morgan. Back the roll. Keep coming out green. Dan Thomas. Very well done into the gap from the open side, but lost the ball in contact. Advantage being played, and Conan getting Ireland moving forward. There's a lot of tired bodies out there. A lot of people just picking their way up to the next phase of play. Jackson looking for position. Oh, perfectly done. Perfectly done by Paddy Jackson. 